Southern Oregon is home to what is most likely the only official Bigfoot trap in the world. The 10 by 10 structure was built back in the early 1970s by special permit from the U.S. Forest Service. A wildlife research team out of Eugene, Oregon was inspired to build the structure by sightings from far back as the late 1800s up to the time they constructed the trap. Now this was not an easy task. In 1974, the Applegate Dam that now impounds oh, Applegate Lake didn't even exist and the hike up to the construction site was a long and hard one from the valley far, far below. Fortunately to date, access to the trap is a relatively comfortable hike. The Collins Mountain Trail is named for one of the pioneer mining families that came to Southern Oregon in the late 1850s. The Collins Mountain Trail, number 943, is easy to spot just about 300 feet past the Hartish Park entrance. The Bigfoot track on the trail marker on the right-hand side of the road lets you know that you are, in fact, at the right trailhead. The trail follows Grouse Creek for about roughly three quarters of a mile through stands of Douglas fir, big leaf maple, madrone, and an abundance of poison oak. So do take precaution. So we're on our way to the Bigfoot Trap. And the first man-made attraction that you run into about a mile up the trail is this old miner's cabin. And this was built decades ago, but uh, just recently fell down within the last 10 years. This miner's cabin, or watchman's cabin, also housed an electronic alarm that would be activated if Bigfoot or anything else tripped the door in the trap. Now, it wouldn't take long to get to the trap if the alarm did, in fact, go off. It's just about 200 feet up a spur trail off of the main trail from the cabin. Permanently disabled so the door can no longer come along and they used to put old carcasses, big chunks of meat in here to try to attract the elusive Bigfoot but uh, the only thing they ever caught in here was not a happy bear and also a very unhappy hunter. There are hefty 12 inch wide and 2 inch thick planks that form the ceiling, floor, and the four sides of the Bigfoot trap. Then there's the heavy expanded metal grate and telephone poles that anchor the 10 foot by 10 foot wooden cage to the ground. The steel door trap was locked open in 1980 to end its era of an active Bigfoot trap. Time and weather are taking their toll on the Bigfoot trap. Inside, the thick wooden beams have given way to the winter rains that have leaked through the roof, signaling the trap will one day end up like the miner's cabin below. The Bigfoot trap is a popular hike and is well worth it just for the flora and the fauna. But seeing what may well be the only Bigfoot trap of its kind in the world, and now the only non-functioning Bigfoot trap of its kind, is certainly the icing on the cake. And just a side note, there are still sightings of Bigfoot in the area. Thank you for watching. I'm Scott Walter reporting.